The finals come a week or two early in the A-League tonight. Western Sydney and Wellington. It is win or bust. His ball. Off Natter for the corner. Well, the pendulum, just to re-emphasise, has completely swung. Can they exploit the Achilles heel of the Wanderers? All those set-piece goals that they've conceded, including seven from corners. Near post delivery, and it's into the back post. They do cough it up from a corner again, Western Sydney. Well, Lewis, one of the emerging players of the season, drops it in the danger zone. Payne with the header, relatively unchallenged, inside the six-yard box. And the Wanderers can't get it clear from there. Go. Bacchus trying to use Russell. Delivery, not bad, but it pings out off Kamau for Tim Payne. So the corner's been given. I think Bruce Kamau was walking away for a goal kick too. Dorans bends it away. Natter! Yet to score an A-League goal, had a couple of cracks at it. Driven back in low, pinballing around. Bacchus! Big goal! Equaliser for Western Sydney! Hang on a minute. Late, late flag. It may not stand. Don't think so yet. Maybe there. Is that obstructing Ollie Sale? If he was offside, Dylan McGowan. And uh, Kurt Ams being instructed by the VAR tonight, Chris Griffiths-Jones, that the goal will stand. And we are 1-1. And that's the result that neither of these teams want tonight, a draw. But it's game on again. Lewis just got there ahead of Aquilina, who was held up briefly by the heavy contact with Ball. Natta under pressure from Wayne and Wellington get the corner. It's a good chase by Wayne. Cross, run, cross. The most dangerous zone if you're a wanderer. And ball poked at home at the back post last time. Lewis into a great spot and Hemed this time. Tom Hemed in goal scoring form. Nine in 12 now and the Wanderers have no answer to the set piece dilemma. They are so vulnerable when they give up those corners. I can't head the ball for them. That's two easy goals we've given away in a game which has been very, very close. Thanks for your time. Okay. Thank Here you. comes Soterio and a great save, an important save by Daniel Margush to keep it at 2-1. What a chance. It's a great chance for Wellington right at the start of the second half. An early corner. Has Carl Robinson's comments been heated? Nearly, nearly for Tim Payne, who's never scored an A-League goal. That's how vulnerable they are. They're giving Payne some looks at it. Wow. Stephen Taylor, the nuisance factor, right in front of Margush. That time Natter headed. Driven back in, and Margush has to be on guard again to deny Devlin another spectacular strike. Wellington would love a two-goal buffer, and they've nearly got one. Wow. Three inside two minutes. Dorans doesn't waste any time. Oh, lovely. Big chance and Ollie Sale denies Kamau. Duke flies into action. Dorans move it into that three-man wall. Aquilina to keep it alive. He's onside here, Kamau. And kept out by Ollie Sale, who's having a super season. Oh, Devlin. Poor pass and straight to Duke. One of the danger men. Abini encouraged to shoot. Plenty of power. Could not keep it down to test sale. Nervous moment. Duke enters the area. Audacious ball in. Chance. Oh, what a block. Tim Payne celebrates like he scored the match winner in a World Cup game. The double fist pump after blocking the point blank range effort from Tate Russell. This season has just frittered away. It'll be nine points out of 33 that never gets you into the business end at the end of a campaign. Wins so hard to come from by two in the last 11 games for Western Sydney. And this might just about wrap it up for Wellington, a free kick in the attacking third. Wellington is still alive. Ufotale side, magnificent here on enemy territory. 
fantastic win here as they capitalized on the Wanderers deficiencies defending corners full-time at Bank West it's Wellington 2 Western Sydney 1